How to play God of War on Give Me God of War Difficult, the ultimate guide. As you know, I only play games on the hardest difficulty available, so God of War was no exception. God of War is a hard game if you decide to play on Give Me God of War difficulty. So, here I am starting the game for the very first time. I know nothing about God of War and I wreck it up on the hardest difficulty. Dear God, death after death after death till I learned on my own. All advices I got from my viewers and chat were good luck with Valkyries, good luck with the game, the game is too hard, don't give me God of War, give me God of War is uh, for you game plus, you will get one shot, the enemies are brick walls, and so on. And all of those advices were correct, but none of those advices from audience didn't help me at all. They just presented issues and problems, but alas, no solution. I was still on the hardest difficulty and I was learning on my own through pain and suffering. So here are my advices. I wish someone told me before I started on Give Me God of War difficulty. You stick with them and you'll have way much easier time than I did on my playthrough. Bread and butter early game attacks would be from range combat, uh, heavy attack and charged heavy attack, freezing burst and freezing throw, in other words. Now let me show you how it works and how you're supposed to stay safe in early game on Give Me God of War difficulty. You want to stay far away from enemies, even though they're gonna rush at you. And you want to throw X's at the start because you can get one shot. At. This is the safest way to play for the start until you learn the game of it. For the early game also, heavy attack executioner's cleave is bread and butter and it will take you in the first 10 to 20 hours through the game with a much easier time than just spamming basic light attacks. advice do not and i repeat do not roam around and explore other realms and midgard until you're done with the second fight against boulder in Helheim. so stick with the main campaign and do not stray off the path do not and i repeat do not explore anything at all in midgard and other realms until you find your swords after you're done with Baldur and you have your Blades of Chaos, then you can start roaming around on the map and finishing all of those loose ends, side quests, lore markers, finding chests, and so on. Campaign will provide enough items for you till you grab your swords and then enjoy the game the proper way. Enemies just hurt way too much and they're all above your level when you decide to roam around on the hardest difficulty. Open up every possible fight with your hardest hitting attacks and spells. Annihilate enemies fast and weaken their numbers.
spam lightning attack non freaking stop with your son once you find lightning arrows of course Dodge works far better than counter, because hitboxes are up a bit in this game. That doesn't mean you should not use block and parry against bosses, but against mobs, dodge is the king. And I repeat, do not fight Valkyries until you have gear with 3 sockets available. For your chest armor, for your breasts, for your waist, and of course for your talisman. After you have your axe on level 5 and your sword on level 5, you can start going to Muspelheim and Niflheim. For those roguelite elements, arena combats, you can start hunting Valkyries, you can go for those realm tears, roam around and enjoy the game the proper way. The last thing I wish to speak about is stun locks from Kratos. Okay. So, what do we need to do? We need to learn how and when to use fists. You gotta use go fists when enemies are close by the walls. Okay, that's when they're the best. Not when you strike from behind, you do a lot of stun lock damage from behind. But the best possible way is when enemies are close to the walls. Okay, you see how easy it is to stun lock them. As far as runic attacks goes, for the axe I found Njord's Tempest and Blessing of the Frost extremely good, if not the best in the game, especially Blessing of the Frost, because you're gonna freeze enemies, you're gonna stun lock them while hitting them, it also lasts long, it's absolutely a great spell. And for the swords I found Neman Crush and Hyperion Slams as the best ones. As far as Atreus goes, I tested everything in a game, from crows to wolves, and frankly, I believe the wolves are the best. Why? On this difficulty, they stun lock enemies. None other deals that much damage with stun, only wolves. Combination of Blessing of Prost into North Tempest is just destroying mobs and bosses.
These advices would save me at least 20 to 30 hours of game time, wasted on dying and roaming around in vain, but unfortunately no one gave them to me. I was encountering overleveled mobs non-stop, and it was a bit of painful, so I'm giving these advices to you now. I hope you will find them useful if you decide to play on Give Me God of War difficulty, and that your run will be way much less painful than mine was. At the end, I would like to add that the game is hard, but it's also a breeze if you know what you're doing and what quests are you going for. Main campaign will provide solid 3 sockets items if you stick with it. Once you see them, start roaming and you're very welcome. So, Boulder second flight, Grab the swords, blades of chaos, and then start roaming around. That's the most important advice for Give Me God of War.